on the medical watch, a first of its kind intervention for a first responder. When a pair of crises impacted both of his lungs, a local police officer went on patrol for a hospital to help him heal. I had opportunity and was blessed to kind of go through the ranks. 30 years on the job. As an officer, as a sergeant, as a captain. And the certificates and awards add up. Arthur Gillespie served as University of Chicago police officer and worked for the Cook County Sheriff's Department. I really do love the service. But in March 2020, the beginning of the pandemic essentially put an end to his career. Not a lot of information was being given about the, um, the virus, the pandemic, you know, hadn't really taken you know, effect yet. So there was just um, a lot of confusion at that time. In short succession, several of Arthur's relatives got sick, a cousin, an uncle. So before my dad and I got sick, my cousin passed away. As his father's condition worsened. He didn't pass away until I was actually in the hospital. And so very difficult for us because, you know, we could not give him the farewell, you know, or even be there with him. Arthur feared he faced the same fate. I didn't have any reason to be optimistic. For 12 days, he fought to breathe on his own. The first week was very harrowing because my need for oxygen continued to increase. And it was explained to me that if that progression continued, I would have to be admitted to ICU. There was more bad news to come. It was explained to me at some point that there was something that was observed on my right lung that was going to require some attention once I was discharged. Arthur had stage one cancer in his right lung was discharged uh, for COVID in May, and I went right into uh, chemotherapy. He had surgery to remove two-thirds of the diseased organ. In the months that followed, the once active 57-year-old put his best foot forward to regain his strength. They knew that there was damage from the COVID, fibrosis, um, and so that plus the fact that I had only one-third lung on my right side, and then it got to where simple things became difficult. Um, taking trash out, doing household chores, um, just walking. I started to feel it and just being able to communicate and talk. By the end of 2023, Arthur was in crisis. I knew I was sick, but my quality of life and my um, longevity, uh, my life expectancy uh, was made very clear to me at that point in time if there wasn't an intervention. The ultimate intervention took place four months ago on January 6th. Arthur, a cancer and COVID survivor, received two new lungs at Northwestern Medicine. It's hard to put into words sometimes. It was a very short period of time before I didn't need any more supplemental oxygen. And that was the first really this gratifying moment because I had required it for so long and had felt really at my age very... I, 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 one thing I really didn't like was the fact that I felt feeble, I felt ill, and my spirit didn't feel the same way. And so once I kind of got that back in line where I felt energetic again and capable of doing certain things um, and not requiring oxygen, that was a huge, huge, huge uh, leap forward for me. Already a designated organ donor himself before his own health ordeal, Arthur often thinks about his donor. I always personally saw myself as someone who was willing to make that sacrifice. The thankfulness, the gratefulness, you realize that someone else had to lose. And so I'm very humbled by that. Arthur says sharing his story allows him to continue to serve the community, something he dearly misses. Back to you.